Eduardo, I, I saw a, a dispatch of, of an answer that uh, Farhan gave to a question about Richard Falk's remarks the other day, blaming the Boston bombings on the United States and Israel in part. I, I wanted clarification of why the Secretary General apparently had a letter went to the Secretary General. There's been no response from the Secretary General's office. What is the position of the Secretary General uh, in regards to Mr. Falk's uh, remarks and why, if he refuses to make remarks on this, what is his position then about this? Well, I'll have to check on that. I have no knowledge of a letter. I'll have to check and see if a letter, in fact, went to the Secretary General's office. I, I, don't, have, I don't have any information on that. Okay, but uh, Richard Falk did make these comments. Uh, well, Richard Falk speaks independently. He, he's not a representative of the Secretary General, so he's, he's free to say what he wants to say. The Secretary General doesn't comment on everything everybody says. Matthew? Sure. I have some other questions, but I wanted to ask one follow-up on, on this. It, I mean, the, the, what was surprising about what Ferran said is that in, in 2011, the Secretary General, at least V.J. Nambiar, who was his chief of staff at the time, did criticize what Falk said about 9-11. So without taking any, without getting into it, except it, it just seems strange to now say he didn't appoint him, he doesn't, he's not going to comment on anything Ma that he Matthew, says. Matthew, that's, that's not all I that. said. What I said was I don't have the information on what he may or may not have written to the Secretary General, what he may or may not have said. If and when we have something to say about it, we'll say it. But what I wanted to ask is, if you end up having nothing to say, can you, as a spokesperson, explain what the difference is about his comment on 9-11 and his comment on the Boston? Is it, is it the relative, you know, I hate to say it, death count? What, what, what triggers the Secretary General commenting on what a special rapporteur said in some instances and not in others? The Secretary General made a statement last week when the Boston uh, bombings, the tragedy in Boston took place. He made a statement. He, re he reflected his views and the views of this organization as to what we thought, we thought was a go very good reaction to the bombings in Boston, which took three lives and injured over, two, over 175 people. That is what the Secretary General had to say about this. What other people have to say, I will check and see if the Secretary General has any comment, period. Sure, I just, I'm just wondering about the statement that he has nothing to say because he didn't appoint him. That's the, what I'm trying to zero Ma in Ma on. Matthew, 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 we make, we, we make statements and we don't make statements. We made a statement on the, on the occasion of the Boston bombing, and we made a statement, obviously, in 2001 on September the, uh, the 11th. So the Secretary General has made the statements he has to make. That's all I'm going to say about this. 